Hello everybody and welcome back. We are playing some Death Road to Canada. I had just made a couple new characters, one of them being Rumpier, who is a car nut and a warrior. And a buddy, none other than our boy Duval Fred Bucci, who's a fighter with a mysterious past. We're gonna do normal mode. Actually, let's see what we got. Uh yeah, let's just do normal. Rump here is rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. You cannot have you can often have teammates rest in the car, useful if someone's hurt, or you want a smaller group. Hit the road. Wait. The group is searching through a house for supplies when something comes down the chimney. It's Santa. Ho ho ho, have you been naughty or nice? I've been nice. Santa gives the group a present. It's a bunch of cans of corn. Just what they've always wanted. Get food five. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. Santa's attitude revealed. Santa joins the team. What the fuck, bro? That's awesome. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow, grow your team. House on the road. Okay. What the f- Why do we- Okay, cool, cool. Alright. See what you got, Rump. You know it's bad when the knitting needle is too heavy. Thank you. We do need a weapon now. Alright. Oh, Rump, I don't know about this. Alright, just jump. Come on. I can't believe Santa joined our team. That's so fucking cool. I've never played it on, you know, Christmas. Which, by the way, I, I wasn't sure when I was going to premiere this episode, but since Santa joined, I literally have to premiere today. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope that it was, you know, a fantastic Christmas for you all. And, you know, come on, 1K gang. I hope it's dope, more dope than soap on a rope. Know what I mean? All right, let's check this room right here. A lot of junk. Stab that toy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, come on, no. Let's take the spatula. Yes, let's go. Let's get out of here. 
group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together in the campsite. The weather is terrible all night. Duval Frasbucci didn't mind it as much. Attitude revealed. Santa didn't mind it much. Okay, so we're the only ones that, like, hated it. It takes a real strong and fit person to use the sledgehammer well. Mild sluggish morning when driving into the city, the group spots something. Let's go to the camp supply shop. get any bricks so far. We gotta do this. We gotta do it. Don't you do this. Don't you take forever. You got it. I have faith in you. Buddy. Right, anything, anything good? Damn it. a lot of you let's go to the swap meet give you this put this up front take the fishing pole because i'm pretty sure you can use it outside of combat There we 
go. It'll be worth it once you guys see why that's a thing. that instead of that. finds a gun range. It's empty, mostly picked clean of supplies. However, they find some shooting targets and a working pistol. Carefully train one person. Let's give run... Let's get Duval to do it. food in exchange for some help. Uh... Nice job Duval for getting a uh, pitchfork out of it. Training in the art and science of anti-zombie engineering. Good job, Duval. Two mountain dingus. Okay. Six, that's still eleven. Okay, yeah. Damn, that sucks. Damn, Rump, you're lacking in so much so far. Cool. 
the house by the road, it's locked. While trying to smash the door down, a voice yells out, Leave my house, leave my door alone, you dinks. I am not a dink. You are an especially huge dink, you dink. Is infuriated and smashes door for a while. The group ends up leaving shortly after. Composure revealed. Composure decreases. Attitude decreases. Damn it. Alright, we're gonna be alright. that aliens are responsible for these zombies. Uh, yeah, morale in a random skill game. Every day is a great teacher, as long as you don't get eaten. Everybody's morale increases and er, fitness increases, okay. spot and out of place patch of snow whatever's causing the snow is also attracting a lot of zombies bring some guns bring your ammo uh, well I can't okay there we go without blasting the ice into chunks, preferably into guns, it should take a while unless you have strong weapons.
We got it, we got it, we got it. Caveman doesn't understand the mysterious ways of future present can't fire guns. later. Temporary, I mean, you're not temporary, but you're forever weapon. All right, let's start with the meat cleaver.
Ooh, okay. It's gotta be a good weapon, right? Oh, thank goodness. Come on. Spirit of the toilet. Damn it. You got it. Come on. Anything? God damn it. All right, let's go in here first. You gotta be close. We need gas. Take the food. Damn it. Mm. Hey, 
Okay, that was quick. Since there's only 10 days left, we'll go ahead and stop there for now. And then we'll pick this back up and we'll just do it in sequences. Like, I don't even know what we started with. Uh, 14 days, I think. Two weeks. So, four days. We'll do four, four. See, so that would be eight. And then another four. We could do. Yeah, we'll just separate it, okay? So, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. 1K gang, let's go. Merry Christmas.